prepared your D2L and MyLab or Mastering course and set up GradeSync, you may want to put in direct content links. We call it deep linking or assignment level linking into your D2L content that will take your students directly to that assignment on the MyLab or Mastering course. So how we are going to do that is we are going to go to more and then course admin. And under site resources, we're gonna click course builder. If you see this, it just means you need to add content. You may already have your content set up on the D2L side. And this is a blank course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a, con a content module. And I'll just do it under here. And we can just say Pearson content. Or if you like to organize your modules as chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, you can also do that. Um, so we're gonna click create. Now from here, we're gonna scroll down and under our add content section, we're actually gonna find this Pearson logo. And so there's two ways that you can do this. You can actually drag, you can click and drag this content icon to the module that we want to insert content in. So that's one way. Or if you actually click on the icon, you can select the location that you want these content links to go in and it will prompt the same content selector. So again, like the grade sync, if you want to insert um, specific assignments into your D2L content area, you will need to make sure that they are assigned and available to students on the Pearson side. So we, do, we have different options to install course links here. Um, you can do the MyLab and Mastering Course Home. So if students click on that, it will take them to the course home of their MyLab or Mastering Course. You can do the My Lab or Mastering Homework section, which will take them to their homework assignments. Um, one thing that I recommend putting in there if you have the option is the My Lab or Mastering eText. It will take them straight to the eText from within D2L. Um, so we're actually gonna do that. So I can click on that. I'm gonna move to page two to actually see my assignments. You will see here that we have a direct link to the chapter two skills review homework. Um, I'm gonna select a few of these and then we're gonna scroll down and click add to course. So now you'll see if you click on the plus sign for Pearson content, we can see these direct link to these assignments and the Pearson e-text. Now if I go to my content and I go to my Pearson content module that I just created, and if I click on chapter two, skills review homework, you can see that instead of just taking it to the generic my lab or mastering login, this takes me directly to this homework assignment. So it creates a a very seamless and single sign-on experience for students. Um, it opens up their MyLab homework right in the D2L window. Now, um, one thing that I recommend too, um, homework is fine to keep in the D2L window. Things like the MyLab or Mastering eText or their course home, sometimes it takes a little while to load if it's within the skin of D2L. So we do have the option of creating it as a separate window or tab when it opens. So if you want to do that, we can click edit properties in place and then do open as an external resource. So what that will look like, instead of like, say if I click on this chapter two skills review homework, see how it opens up in the D2L pane if I designated it to open as an external resource, it actually opens up in a separate tab. Let me take a minute. So here's that Pearson eText. Um, again, 
if you really want to create a seamless learning environment for your students, you can insert the direct content links here. Um, and if you want to give them direct access to things like the e-text or the course home, you can always have them open as an external resource so students can navigate between the Pearson e-text and their assignments from within the D2L window.